So that first book we're going to read right now, it's called The Biggest Lie in the History of Christianity. All right? So it's, it's written by Matthew Kelly. And that page is page 97. It's called Our Dirty Little Secret. It's going to tell you the dirty little Christ secret of Christianity. All right? Our, our dirty little secret is that we don't really... We, we don't actually want our life, life to be transformed. He says the dirty little uh, secret of Christians, they really don't want to transform their lives. So he says our dirty little secret as Christians, we don't want to transform our lives. Meaning we never want to change. No matter what you tell the white Christian, they'll never put that Halloween away. They'll never put that Christmas away. Even our people in the black church too. No matter how much they see, they understand. Because this is not the first time we're having our long lesson. We don't go through the history. Today, we're not even going to bother going through the history. Because at that point, they should know. It has nothing to do with the Bible. Right? They know where the, the whole history comes from. They read it, but they still celebrate it. So even a Christian say, our dirty little secret is like, we Christian, we're not going to change. <laughs> we ain't going to change, no matter what you tell us. Read. Read it as it is. Keep keep going. Oh, yeah. You he can say JJ JJ in for, in, instead of the wicked name. And we you don't say JJ want to turn our life upside down, which as it turn out will be right side up. But we are comfortable with who we are, mm, you where say, we are. You say JJ trying to change them, but they say, man, we ain't, we ain't, we, we comfortable. We like Halloween and Krima. We don't want to change. Don't make us, don't tell us to change. Mm. Even if it's not in the Bible, listen, like, we're going to do what we're going to do. You understand? We ain't changing nothing. Even right now in the church, they got Halloween party going on. And they're getting ready. They got all kind of wicked creature in the church. Exactly. And say, we come for, we good where we are, man. We ain't going to change. We don't. And he say, and we don't want God all up in our business. Read, read that again. Wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me. And he say, and we don't want God all up in our business, moving things around, turning things upside down, looking into every dark and dirty corner of our heart and soul. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? He said, the truth is we just don't want God in our business. We don't want God to tell us what to do. And, right? Yeah. We, we just, we just want to do what we want to do. Don't tell us, you know, what to do. Right? We don't want God in all in our business in our corners of our lives. Our secret, that's our little dirty secret. Mm. That's the secret for real. <laughs> you know, like, because even if you tell a Christian, you know, according to the Bible, God hates idols and all that. Like, man, yeah. listen, brother. That's what you believe. I, why, that's your truth. I got my truth, brother. You know, everybody got their own truth. Right. So they say, man, you say, man, the Christians, us as Christians, is that we don't want God to change a thing. You know, changing Halloween, Christmas. If it, even if it's not in the Bible, that's your thing and my thing. I'm going to stay the way I am. You, that's the, like they say, that's the way I am. Is. You, know, <laughs> you, you, you know what I mean? We don't want God in all on our business. We don't want to see where he say, don't celebrate Halloween. Right. We don't want to We don't want to see where it says don't eat pork. Listen, don't man. Either. Listen. You got your Bible. I got my Bible. That's why a lot of them you talk to, they say, listen, man. You got your religion. I got my religion. That's all. I don't want to change a thing. Keep reading. You say, don't get me wrong. We want to be Christian. <laughs> <laughs> he said, don't get me wrong. We want to be Christian. Call us Christian. We want to go to church. We, you know, we want, we like it when we wear the cross and people can say, oh, that's a Christian woman. We, we love that. Read. And we want to be considered good or commit Christian, committed Christians. They say, don't get me wrong, man. We want, we like when people call us committed Christians. All right. We want, we, we like that title, but we don't. Whatever that means. Whatever that means. <laughs> Read. But we are but we are not interested in uh, 
certainly not deeply committed to collaborating with God to completely transform our life and our, uh, no, to transform ourselves and our life into the very best version of ourselves. Right, you say, but yeah, we want to call, be called Christians, but mm. when it comes to change who we are, we 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 not interested in that. Ain't that the truth? Mm. <laughs> that's a that's a Christian talking. He said, "Listen, man, we we love to be called Christian, but leave us alone with all that. Don't tell us not to keep Halloween. We we not interested in changing what we have going on here. You see, it, it, like cream and other coin. I don't care, bro. Like that to me." To you, Christ wasn't born in December, but to me, it was in December. Don't tell me it wasn't in December. Mm. Right? To me, that's Halloween is of God. But to you, it, they always turn it to you, not about God. It's like, leave us alone. We're good where we are. Path of righteousness. Do not follow after the, these demons. You know, these people, they think it's a joke out here, man. All these demons will come in your house and dwell. That's why you got all these jacked up kids that just wake up one day and want to shoot up a school. Those demons are coming over. You're calling these demons. Your children now are engulfed in demonic uh, uh, activities. I was reading um, an article. Police officer stopped a, a young guy. I think it was like 22 or something. Uh huh. And they find a, a, a note. In the note, he had his entire plan of how he's going to be shooting up a high school. Mm. A little white boy. He has like, I'm going to be killing this and this. This is where I'm going to enter. And everything mapped out. Mm. Them kids, demonic kids. They're all going to perish, man. You understand? Because you're the one that allowed them to run, you know, all these demons calling in your house since they were little. So now they get to a point where these demons make them do things they don't want to do. In a lot of them, in, in a lot of them, they say they be hearing voices. Yeah, they're hearing voices telling them what to do. Those are these demons that go kill them, kill them. I was working at a place and um, this Edomite guy, he, we were talking. He's like, "Hey, you ever, um, you ever have bad dream?" I'm like, "Yeah, I do have bad dreams sometimes." He's like, "No, like every day." I'm like, uh, "What kind of dream?" Like, you know, being attacked by demons and evil spirits. I'm like, what's going on with you? <laughs> He's like, yeah, I mean, I have every single day when I go to sleep, I see spirits and demons and hearing voices. I said, man, I ain't even supposed to be here. <laughs> what if that voice tell you to kill me? What if that voice says, go shoot up your job? Because that's happened at the Walmart. Guy come to the break room and spray everybody. See, it's only the most high that can protect you from these demons in these last days. You might think you're safe at work. No. Someone come and start shooting everybody. And shot every co-worker. They got a problem at home. They got their hear voices and such kids. Because they, America have cultivated demonic culture, man. Calling up on demons, calling, playing with these demons. Most movies and shows is all about witchcraft. They're banning prayers in schools, banning Bibles. You know, they're going against the most high in many ways. Jubilees 1 verse 10. The book of Jubilees chapter 1 verse 10. Read. And they will make themselves high places and groves and graven images. Uh -huh. And they will worship each his own graven image uh -huh. so as to go astray. And they will sacrifice their children to demons. To who? To demons. To who? To demons. They'll sacrifice their children to demons, man. Read on. And all the works of the error of their hearts. Right, so that's what's happening. So they will, they will sacrifice their children to demons. You see during Halloween, they have all these children dressing in creepy costumes. Going out there. Listen, they're, they're raising a new generation of witches. Just taking candies from strangers and give to your kids. You understand? You're sacrificing your kids, man. Watch by no and doing Halloween, there's all, always some death of these kids. A lot of kids die. Gone kids gone missing. You understand? They're sacrificing their kids to demons, man. That's what they do out here. And in, in, in a big way, you see how the most I say, the end of it is that those kids will end up having yet their own groves. Now, right now, they say witchcraft is on, on, the, on, the, on the rise in the United States. 
I was yeah. talking to I was talking to someone uh, this week, and I was saying my favorite animal is honey badger, and she's like, "Oh, that's your animal spirit." I say, "I don't believe in that nonsense." <laughs> she's like, "No, but you know, you 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 you, you like you behave this." Same. I'm like, "No, no, no." Mm-mm, mm-mm. I just like honey badger. Nah, I don't have no animal spirit. We don't. <laughs> they really believe in those nonsense, and we they have they, put, they be putting stones in their offices like. This is gonna protect me from bad energy. Right. Witchcraft, man. Right. So, so the Bible said the end of that is that all of them are being trained to have their own gross images to fall into witchcraft. In the book of Enoch, tell us they all will perish. They all will die. Exactly. Because eventually, you know what these demons gonna do? They're gonna make them act out. Mm-hmm. If they go shoot up school. They got shot. They, or they end up killing their wives and their kids. And when they go to jail, they're like, why am I here? What's going on? Right. Because America, the whole culture is based on calling demons. When they put milk and cookie for Santa, that's a demon. You put, you're putting it right under a tree. There's a certain condition that call upon this demon. Right? It's the same thing in voodoo.